First, though, at 5 o'clock for the first time, we are hearing from the father of a young boy who was found dead in Waxahachie following an Amber Alert. Thank you for being with us today. I'm Doug Dunbar. John Wiedemann released these photographs earlier today of his six year old son, Ollie. Police say that the boy was found dead in his car with his mother, Candace Harbin. That was on Friday, and that was just hours after not showing up at school. In a statement today, John Wiedemann, the father, wrote this. He said, Ollie was an amazing young boy who cared about people. He loved swimming, Legos, and superheroes. But most of all, he said he loved going to school. Our hearts are broken and may never be whole again, says this dad. Waxahachie police are not releasing how they think the boy and his mother died. An autopsy report we know is pending. I want to bring in Jason Allen as we get underway here at 5 from Waxahachie. I know you've been looking through court records today. Uh, you found some detailed history. There's been concern for this boy's safety over the years. Uh, there has, Doug, and we learned that before Candace Harbin and her son were found dead here in this parking garage, that her visits with him were supposed to be supervised either by her mother or her sister or by another adult. And she had been trying to change that. The boy's father and the courts, at least to this point, had said no. And there was a final hearing on the matter that was scheduled for court that was just weeks away. Harbin and Wiedemann uh, had been fighting this custody battle going all the way back to 2017. And documents for the case reveal that last week was actually not the first time that Harbin had disappeared with her son. There's a psychologist, psychologist report that says in 2016, she, quote, left the house with Ollie while John was away in Midland and that John did not see Ollie again for a month. Harbin had also been required to attend mental health counseling, and documents detail a, a long history with mental health concerns. At least twice in the last eight years, Harbin lived in homes that had burned down, and both a therapist and the boy's father had stated concerns that at some point, Harbin may have locked her son in a closet. Now, when I asked attorneys for the boy's father today if there had ever been concern for the boy's safety and well being before what happened last week, both of them nodded. However, they stated that in their opinion, this is a case that is really a mental health issue. This is not a case of a custody battle that has gone wrong. We're live in Waxahachie tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason, we appreciate